All right, Christoph, it is time to take us back in time. When and why did you begin designing dancewear in the first place? I'm curious. All right, it's a long story. <laughs> it actually uh, started back in 1991. This is the year where I did my first leotards for Elizabeth. At the time, we were both dancing with Monte Carlo Ballet. And I was uh, 26 years old and starting thinking about retiring. I had the opportunity to do a workshop uh, within the Monte Carlo Ballet Company and um, I had to take care of the costumes. Um, and I actually uh, enjoy uh, doing the costume more than the choreography. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think it reminded me of my childhood. Um, I saw my mothers and sisters uh, sewing for long hours. So once I did those costumes, um, Elizabeth asked me to make a, a leotard that she had in mind. Uh, so we went together, bought a piece of, of lycra. Um, I traced the pattern uh, to fit her size and the design she wanted. It was a, a real team effort and I wanted it to make her happy. Once uh, she warned that leotards, colleague came to her and said, where did you get, where did you get that leotards? And she said, well, Christophe made it. And, and that was the beginning of, of Wear Moi. You know, your fabrics are so beautifully designed and created. I have to know, how do you select your fabrics? We're, uh, we're actually very proud of the process in actually selecting uh, the, the fabric. What we do is that we work with our uh, material suppliers uh, to create and develop fabrics specifically for us. So we first select a fabric, we test uh, its strengths and the integrity after washing and comfort and support. And then we test it on dancer's body. Uh, that is really the only way uh, to truly judge the quality, the feel, and the endurance of a product. All right, so now that you've got the right fabrics and you know that they're gonna to perform to wear moi standards, what is the manufacturing process like? Well, our development team is based in France and um, Elizabeth's sketches are being sent to the team and they start crafting uh, the prototype based on those design. The prototype are being sent to us uh, here in Chicago and prototype starts and ends on Elizabeth's body. Um, she makes sure uh, while wearing them that it meets her standard and reflect her vision. And we work together during those fittings uh, to compare our creative ideas uh, with the reality of today's uh, dancewear market needs. Um, it's, it's another marriage, uh, really. We marry Elizabeth's aesthetic vision with my production and industry uh, vision. We're always looking for that next exciting Friday ideas to combine our expertise and passion, uh, which uh, reflect uh, the Wermoi brand. I like this idea it's a, of another sort of a marriage. Yes, right? exactly. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at one of those creative results. How about your fashion uniforms? One of the style we've uh, developed this year is a flock pattern being applied to a stretch tool fabrics. We've selected initially the fabric design. We also selected the colors and the, the result is actually uh, stunning. Uh, the other um, uh, collection is uh, the, the knitwear collection that we pulled out for our warm-up collection this year. It's made of fine red line patterns that actually been embroidered on the knitted uh, fabric. Uh, we, we love it so much that we came up with a lot of variation on this team. Wow, sounds fantastic. <laughs> 